Hey guys, what's going on today? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we're going to be installing a set of ARP head studs in my 2008 6.7 Cummins. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, so we're just going to be doing these uh, one at a time, you know, take a head bolt out, put a stud in. Um, first thing we need to do is take this little plastic cover off. Then we can uh, get to taking the breather cover off, followed by the valve cover, followed by the intermediate cover, which has the injector lines and whatnot. And uh, I don't mean the fuel lines, like the connectors that go on top of the injectors. So let's get to that. So you can see we're down to the valve train now. This is the intermediate cover I was talking about. Take that plug off, the one behind it, all these off the injectors. Be careful, do not torque very much. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is someone has obviously been in here before because this breather right here it's broken off. It should have like a little nub like that, so I will have to repair that, but for now, let's get back into it. And I also believe this pipe right here for the EGR cooler, so the EGR valve needs to come off because I would assume that there's a head bolt kind of in that area, so that's going to be in the way. So now, you can see, we're down to just the rockers, take the rocker box off. And what we're gonna do is take all 12 rockers off, just in the middle there on each of them. And when you lift them up, you're gonna wanna squeeze them together like that so they don't come apart. And we're gonna wanna remember the order of these because if you don't put them back in the correct order, then uh, you're gonna have to reset the um, lash on the engine and you know it just adds more time and work. See, we have all the rockers off now. All the bridges are off. I have all the studs laid out over here. So the next step, what we're gonna do is use the ARP lube, lube up both sides of the washer, and then only the top threads. And then also, as you can see, there's these six longer ones that goes along the exhaust manifold side. So we'll get all these set up first. It's a pretty messy. Yeah. Oh, there we go, all lubed up and ready. What we can start with doing is the middle head bolt. Right there, we'll take that out with an 18 mil. And then follow this torque sequence right here. Alright guys, so we're getting there. 
definitely is a lengthy process, but uh, so many I have left to do. Two exhaust side and two, four, six, nine of the inboard ones. What I'm gonna do is I'll set you up for this front one right here because it's easy to see and we'll just do like a real time just so you can see how long it takes to do one. All right, step one, break it free, 18 mil, and break the bar. And once it's broken free, take the impact, zip it out quick. Next step, which is pretty important, clean the hole out. I just compressed air for that. Take battery ratchet. Now, I'm not cranking this down. I'm just using it because I'm lazy. It's beat faster than hand threading it in. Spin the nut down. This is a 15 mil 12 point, I think it is. Maybe more points than that, not sure. And then, what I'm doing is just a hundred foot pounds. I've skipped the other steps because I'm doing them one at a time. We'll go back and do a higher torque after, but I've skipped the lower torque. One done. Basically, now you just repeat the steps uh, 26 times. This makes me a very happy man to see this empty box. Not they're all in there. What we'll do is technically already skip step one, or kind of like it's step two and a half, which isn't real. But we're going to retorque them all to 125, following the same sequence, and then. Um, Probably retorque them again to maybe 130 or 135. And uh, after that, we have to machine the rocker box cover at the back to clearance that head stud. Here you can see right there where I milled it out with the Dremel on the rocker box to clear the rear schwatt, rear uh, stud, sorry. Now we'll throw this on. Now check the harness back on. Careful with this, they're expensive to replace. There you go, Flip it on. Put all these back on the injectors. Also be very careful with this, just use a quarter inch ratchet or something, do them by hand or... All right guys, so we're most of it together. What we're gonna do now is get up the temperature. I was trying to that the valve cover should be a big deal. And uh, then we'll do a hot retour. All right guys, so you can see we've pretty much done a full heat cycle now. Uh, don't mind the check engine, I just have a couple things unplugged, but now what we'll do is uh, shut the truck off, um, pull the rocker box off, pull the injector harness off, pull the rockers off, and uh, we're gonna retorque everything hot. Probably let it sit for a while and then retorque it cold again. All right guys, well, it's all together. Running just cherry. You don't have to worry about that whistling sound. Definitely one thing uh, I was happy I did is do a hot retorque though because hot I got I bet you an eighth of a turn out of most of the studs and then uh, on the cold retorque I they were solid they didn't really move but uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video um hope you 
give you some insight on how to do them with the heads on still. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.